Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be explaining how you can turn a little amount of starting capital into a lot, specifically using gaming cryptocurrency tokens. It's possible, it's been done before, where investors have turned, say, $100 into $10,000 or $1,000 into $100,000, achieving that 100x in the cryptocurrency market. It's possible, but you do need to follow the correct steps. So in this video, I'll be explaining what those steps are. If that does interest you, be sure to stick with me until the very end. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. So currently there really is no debate that crypto gaming will be one of the biggest narratives in the cryptocurrency market and we will see the crypto gaming coins heavily outperform the rest of the crypto market sectors. When that time will come, when gaming really takes off, nobody knows for sure. But what we can do is prepare ahead of time and set ourselves up to capture major gains in the market. But again, you need to follow the correct steps to do that. Now, it is quite simple, but don't confuse simple with easy. The concept is simple. You wanna buy low and then sell high. But how exactly do you do that? Well, let's get into that right now. So we are looking at the top GameFi coins by market cap. And it's important to understand, yes, as you go down this list and get into the lower market cap cryptocurrency gaming coins, they will potentially offer higher rewards, but even with the high caps, I do believe you will be able to make astronomical returns when the gaming run does actually take off. Whether that's gonna be this year in 2023, or maybe in 2024, or maybe even in 2025, whenever that big explosion is, again, nobody knows for sure, but when it does happen, even the high caps, something like ApeCoin, they're going to heavily outperform the rest of the market, and that's going to be the time where you wanna sell. Beforehand, times like right now when everything is quiet, and nobody's really talking about these gaming coins, this is the time when you wanna be putting your plan of action together, and then of course, executing and taking action on that plan. So to first get started into this kind of how-to guide, let's go over the top GameFi coin by market cap right now, which is ApeCoin. So what we can do is we can take a look at the ApeCoin chart. And also, by the way, most of these gaming coins are built on the Ethereum blockchain. A lot of these are ERC20 tokens. What does that mean? It means that you should use Ethereum as your main unit of account when you're essentially doing your balance sheets, when you're taking your profits. You wanna do all of your accounting in Ethereum. Of course, you could use US dollars or Bitcoin, but if you're like myself and you understand the components of fiat money and how it can be hyperinflated, how it already is hyperinflated and it's constantly losing its value by the day, it might be a wise decision to use a different asset as your main unit of account. And Ethereum, because all the gaming tokens are already ERC20s, makes perfect sense to be that unit of account. Also, Ethereum is now deflationary. It is a net deflationary asset since the Ethereum merge, which did take place 159 days ago. As you can see from the merge date, there have been 31,833 Ethereum completely removed from supply. Yes, Ethereum does still have emissions, but the fees are burned and it's now net deflationary, as you can see, by a negative 0.46% supply growth per year. So Ethereum, in my opinion, is going to outperform Bitcoin this upcoming bull cycle. So not financial advice, you do whatever you want, but I would heavily consider if I was yourself doing your accounting in Ethereum and trying to get as much ETH as possible. And we're gonna be using the gaming coins in order to do that, in order to grow our Ethereum stack. So let's get into this guide right now. So ApeCoin, again, you can track it versus USDT, but we can also track it versus Ethereum, all right? And we wanna look for the GameFi coins that are very low versus Ethereum, that really haven't exploded or taken off yet versus ETH. So here we are looking at ApeCoin versus Ethereum on the weekly price chart. And I'm showing you this chart first, ApeCoin, because it's actually really, really attractive to me. Let me explain why. The first thing you should notice is that ApeCoin did launch in the midst of the crypto bear market in April of 2022, almost one full year ago. 
It launched at this price versus ETH. And if you look at where it is currently, it's at the same exact price, actually slightly lower from where ApeCoin did launch versus Ethereum. It has had some major swings from the time it's been launched, as you can see to the upside after the initial airdrop pump, and then to the downside over here in November of 2022, at the peak of the bear market when FTX collapsed, it was at its all time lows versus Ethereum. It's had some swings high and low, but overall this chart to me is just pure accumulation on the weekly time frame. And it's a newer coin, which is a very good thing because typically, not always, but typically the newer coins do outperform the older coins that have seen multiple crypto bull and bear cycles, boom and bust cycles, right? There's no bag holders that are holding on to this thing for the most part, trying to sell it at least break even. This is a newer coin that launched in the middle of the bear market. It has not seen a crypto bull run yet. So that's one reason why this is a very good looking asset, a good looking chart to me. Another thing also, I understand the fundamentals of ApeCoin, how it is the coin of the Board API Club. They're building out their other side metaverse. It's going to be massive when it comes to the play to earn cryptocurrency space. So ApeCoin, definitely a very attractive asset. And this chart is really good looking to me because in my opinion, when the gaming narrative really starts to take off, ApeCoin as well as the other major GameFi coins as well as some of the lower caps not every single lower cap is going to do well but a lot of them most likely will they're most likely going to really outperform ethereum when the gaming narrative does actually start to take off so how high this does actually run versus eth i'm not sure how high it's going to go whether it goes 5x 10x 20x i don't know nobody knows for sure but in my opinion a chart that looks like this launched in the middle of the bear market in a weekly accumulation range when it takes off, it's gonna run really, really hard. One example of an asset that has done that in the past is something like Axie Infinity AXS. We can take a look at Axie here versus the US dollar. And Axie really, really outperformed the entire market in 2020 and then again in 2022, right? Axie went multiple hundred X's. Right, as you can see here, this is a 500x gain if you bought it from the low down here in November of 2020 and held it to the peak in December of 2021. It is important to understand that a lot of people that got into Axie early didn't hold it into the top. And if they did, a lot of them never even took profit and could still be holding the bag right now. Right, And they're down like 90% plus. So you do need to take profit eventually, but you cannot let all the hard work you're doing right now during the bear market, during the slow time, go to waste by your failure to realize the profits, okay? You do need to sell the assets at some point and realize the gains. That is the most important thing when it comes to any investing strategy, especially in crypto, because I don't know how many stories that I've heard where people hold it all the way to the top they're up millions of dollars. And then they see that turn to like $10,000 in the bear market because they never took any profit. Do not let that be you, this upcoming bull market cycle. All right, you must take your profits. But Axie crushed it last cycle. And if you look at Axie versus Ethereum, they actually didn't launch the Ethereum pair until the absolute peak of the market in October and November of 2021. And from that point, this was when Axie was at its all time high prices, over $100. It's been down only versus ETH, but it actually did start to show some signs of life at the start of 2023 down here in January, right? We can see if we draw a trend line here on the chart and just connect it to the highs, it did actually break the trend line here and it's starting to use it as support instead of resistance now. So as far as I'm concerned, we do need to see a higher high past these wicks, these highs over here at 0 0.01035 Ethereum, right? This is really gonna confirm an uptrend for us when we make a higher high past this level. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the start of a uptrend for Axie versus ETH, also Axie versus the US dollar. So the main reason that I'm charting these assets versus Ethereum is because I think Ethereum is gonna really, really crush it this upcoming bull market cycle. I think it's gonna outperform Bitcoin and the rest of the major cryptocurrencies. So if we go ahead and take our profits in Ethereum, and then Ethereum keeps on going up in value, that is actually going to allow us to double dip in our profits. So we first take profit in the gaming coins versus ETH, and then eventually we sell the ETH into something like dollars where we can use it to upgrade our everyday lifestyle, etc. 
So that's the strategy, all right? You wanna use Ethereum as your main unit of account. You, you wanna stack as much ETH as possible and you wanna do that by buying the gaming cryptos or any other market sector, right? We've seen artificial intelligence really, really outperform the rest of the market, especially Ethereum as of late. But you wanna initially take profits in ETH and then you wanna let your ETH also increase in value over the bull market cycle and that's going to allow you to double dip your profits and really compound your gains. And real quick, just relating back to the artificial intelligence narrative, one example would be Fetch AI versus Ethereum. We can see with FET how this is a weekly chart as well. And from the start of December over here, late November, start of December, versus Ethereum, it's up around a 5x. All right, That means if you put one Ethereum in, you would be able to take profit with five full Ethereum here. All right. And that means if you think Ethereum is gonna to go to $5,000, $10,000, you essentially you know, turned your $1,000 of Ethereum because Ethereum was around 1K back here, right? You put in that, you can take it out into five here. And if you think ETH is gonna to go to 10K each, right, your five ETH is gonna to turn to 50K. So that would be a flip of 1K to 50K. That's just one example. And FET, I think, will continue to outperform Ethereum, but this video is about gaming coins. And a lot of the gaming coins right now look like FET did back here before it actually went ahead and exploded. All right, so getting back to the subject at hand here, looking at ApeCoin versus ETH again, right? ApeCoin has really not taken off versus Ethereum yet. I think ApeCoin is gonna really outperform. And again, I'm gonna show you some lower caps in this video, but even these high caps, these should explode, not financial advice, nothing is a given, there is no such thing as free lunch in this market, but I'm expecting them to explode versus ETH, and that's going to allow you to compound your Ethereum stack, and then if you'd like, you can sell that Ethereum later on in the market cycle, when Ethereum is at a much higher price, this is a deflationary asset, and you're gonna be able to really double dip and compound those gains. All right, so ApeCoin should definitely be the first one on your radar. Now, how do you actually go about doing this? Well, you've heard it time and time again, but the dollar cost average strategy is the most foolproof way to go ahead and capitalize on the upcoming gaming bull run that we're going to experience. All right, use these slow times. Nobody's talking about ApeCoin right now. There's not a lot of buzz about it. All the low cap gaming coins, nobody's talking about them. It's quiet. People are fearful. You, you want to be greedy when others are fearful. So simply just DCA. Of course, everything is easier said than done. But you need to forego the instant gratification of making quick money. This is investing here. It takes time for these investments to come to fruition. So you need to have an outlook of a minimum of 6 to 12 months. All right. If you can't wait 6 to 12 months for your assets to mature, well, then you should go do something else. All right. Of course, in crypto, you can make super quick money. I've done it before. Right. Coins like Zyberswap explode 30x in two weeks. That happens, but that's an outlier. For the most part, you're going to have to wait. 6, 12, maybe even longer, 6, 12 months for these assets to really start to move. But regardless, Ape versus Ethereum, what more needs to be said? This chart, this is just one big accumulation range. I'm expecting it to really, really outperform. So you're gonna be able to take profit in Ethereum. And then when Ethereum greatly increases in value, you'll be able to, of course, take profit into dollars if you wish and really, really compound your gains there. So that's just one example. Another one, of course, would be Sandbox or Decentraland Mana. If we look at Sand versus ETH, it's kind of a similar story, right? Where it peaked over here in November of 2021 when Facebook changed to Meta and they said they were going to start building out a Metaverse, right? That was the peak of the market and it's been doing nothing but bleeding off now. And it did actually have a nice reversal at the start of 2023 as well. All right, you can see Ape from the start of the year is up around 44%, 45% versus ETH. All right, but back up to these high levels, you know, you still have a 3X, over a 3X, meaning you put one ETH in, you'll, you'll be able to take around three out, a little more. All right, so these are the charts we want to be looking for. We want to be looking for these assets that are really, really crushed versus Ethereum, also crushed versus the dollar. And if we look at Sand here, it had its initial pump up, but really now it's been in consolidation for the past six weeks. It's been trading sideways. This is bullish consolidation as far as I'm concerned. I'm expecting Sand to make another leg higher. So again, the strategy, what is it? Well, simply put, you can obviously buy these assets with dollars, but then you're gonna be able to take profit if you choose in Ethereum. And then Ethereum, the 
thought process is Ethereum is also going to be increasing in value. So you already took profit once versus ETH. ETH goes up in value. You're able to take more profit out because the Ethereum coin itself costs more. Again, you're going to be double dipping your gains. So Sand crushed versus ETH, right? From the high to the low, it's down 82%. From current price, it's down 74, 73%. And back up to these highs, you have around a 3x. So again, we're concentrating on the GameFi index because I think that gaming, play to earn gaming metaverse is going to be a bigger narrative than AI potentially, or we're gonna see the same type of returns we're seeing with the AI coins with these metaverse gaming coins. And they're all heavily undervalued right now. Just looking at the higher time frame charts, they're all down 80, 90% plus. So really a big opportunity on the table here if you do have the patience to wait for these to take off so these are the high caps another one would be decentraland mana versus eth if you look at this one had a very nice pump up again at the start of 2023 from that low it is up 66 percent but from these high prices it's still down 65 percent all right and this is for sure kind of a trend reversal here snap this really steep downtrend line and now mana is in consolidation again just like sand for the past six weeks or so so again you want to look to find your favorites you need to do your own research there's so many crypto gaming coins that look really good that are all building games building their own metaverses they all look good so you need to do your own research they don't all look good but a lot of them do look very good do your own research and find the ones that you have conviction in Find the ones that you believe in that you think will do well. And these are the assets that you want to concentrate on. And again, the strategy is very simple. You want to DCA when nobody is paying attention and nobody is talking about them. All right, this thing is still down 65% from its highs. So if it goes lower, of course, you want to look to DCA or even just at current prices, etc. Find the assets that you like and simply go about the strategy, follow the plan, buy low and then sell high. All right. Decentraland Mana, all these are ERC20 tokens by the way, but Decentraland Mana, another very high cap. One more I'll show you that's a high cap is gonna be Gala Games. And if you look at Gala versus ETH, again, from where it was at the peak of the market, it is down horrendous, right? It's down from November of 2021, it's down 84%. Back up to these highs, it has over a 5X, okay? so. A lot of money on the table here if you think that these assets are going to get back to where they were towards the peak of that previous run and maybe even make new all-time highs these assets are all going to potentially explode so gala games another high cap good one you don't need to go to the 500 and lower market cap coins to find ones that will give you good returns that's more risk but also more potential reward these high caps that I just showed you, whether that's Ape, Mana, Sand, Gala, when the gaming run starts, these are all most likely going to really pump hard. But I know everybody wants to talk about low caps, so let's go ahead and do that. And a lot of these low caps aren't listed on TradingView, so we need to use a tool like Dex Tools to see the chart. And on Dex Tools, we want to click the button here where it shows the pair versus Ethereum. Right now, this is Senate. This is the, the governance token of the Sidus Heroes metaverse Sidus, we can see here this is their kind of in-game currency it's up 24 percent on the day this can be compared to axie infinity's slp where it's kind of hyper deflationary senate is the governance token that i would pay more attention to when it comes to Sidus heroes All right this one has a market cap of 4.7 million dollars most people would overlook senate and just look at Sidus because they won't do the research necessary to find out that there's two tokens when it comes to this metaverse play to earn game right but regardless i like Sidus a lot as a low cap and if you look at it versus ethereum we can click on this blue button here and it will give us the standard versus ethereum pair here if you look at this asset on the weekly chart it's pretty much dead all right and again we want to be greedy when others are fearful if we do zoom in this thing has had a very nice pump up from the start of the year but zoomed out on the macro it has a lot of room to go all right the all-time high of this thing in dollars is five dollars currently it is 8.7 cents so a long way to go to those high price levels and it did have a nice pump right from these lows back here from the start of february it's up over a hundred percent but if you look at where this thing can potentially get to 
even if it just gets to this support level after it got listed and did have a big sell off to this support level here, even if it just gets back to this level from current prices, you're still looking at a gain of around almost a 10x versus Ethereum, meaning you can put one ETH in and you'll be able to take 10 out. And let's say something like this happens within the next six months or so. This is pure speculation, obviously, but let's say it happens within the next six months where you put one ETH in, or maybe you put 10 ETH in and it 10Xs, and you're able to take from one, you can take 10 ETH out, or if you put 10 in, you're able to take 100 Ethereum out. And then you just hold on to those ETH and you wait for ETH to go to say $6,000, $7,000 if you think it will do that. You just double dipped your gains, you compounded your positions because you knew to take profits in an appreciating asset that is hyper deflationary and not fiat money that is hyper inflated to oblivion. All right. If this makes sense, if you understand what I'm saying, smash that like button down below if you think that this strategy is viable and you think that it would work in a bullish cryptocurrency market scenario. But anyways, Senate versus ETH, heavily undervalued, right? You wanna be greedy when others are fearful. People look at this chart, they say, oh, it's dead, nothing's gonna happen. They don't look into what this asset is. They don't do their own fundamental analysis and they're gonna overlook these opportunities. But it's clear as day to me that this has a long way to go and I like Cytus Heroes as a metaverse, I think it's a good one, so I can see it really outperforming ETH. Another one that I brought up quite a bit here in the channel is gonna be Wasder. All right, so if we look at something like Wasder versus Ethereum, again, we can see that by clicking the blue button here. This is Wasder versus the US dollar. And we click on this blue button here in Dex Tools and it'll give us Wasder versus Ethereum. And if we look at this, it did launch back here in May of 2021, and currently it's right around that launch price. It did have a major explosion, right? This was for sure the time to buy it in October, November of 2021. When any chart looks dead like this, these really, really small weekly candles, assume that it's accumulation, do your own fundamental analysis and find out if the asset is actually any good if it has any value and if it does and you see a chart that looks dead like this that is kind of a flashing signal to pay attention and take action All right but that was obviously november of 2021 over a year ago if you look at it now it's, it's up like 32x from these prices All right but this asset still only has a market cap of 8.69 million dollars you know back here was like a micro cap with like less than a one million dollar market cap now it's a little bit different, but again, still under a $10 million market cap, you should do your own fundamental analysis and research into what Wasder is. I think it's fundamentally sound and I think it's going to really perform well when gaming gets going. So again, we'll be able to essentially put ETH into here and then be able to take a lot more ETH out when it does explode potentially, not financial advice. We are all market speculators here and we're speculating on the future price of the asset we're trading the right side of the chart, right? It has not happened yet. But of course, there's only three things that can happen in the market. An asset can either go up, down, or sideways. And I'm bullish, so I think they're gonna go up over time. So again, versus ETH, Wasder, it's really not moved a ton over the past few years, really. It had a really big dead period in late 2021, but this chart is making higher highs and higher lows on the weekly time frame. It is in a weekly uptrend and it has not seen that massive expansion move just yet. So this one should really outperform ETH when it gets going. And again, the strategy is simple. You wanna DCA into these things when they're low, such as right now. And then when they start to take off, you wanna take your profit into Ethereum you wanna sit on that Ethereum, and when Ethereum increases in value a lot, you can then go ahead and sell that ETH, and you can really compound your gains that way. So Wasder is another low cap. Another one that I shared with you a few weeks ago in one of my videos is Wag Me Games. And we'll go ahead and cue the clip where I was explaining how Wag Me versus Ethereum had sold off recently. As you can see here with my my green circle, I was saying Wagme sold off versus ETH. We'll just go ahead and play the clip right here. And if you look at Wagme Games versus Ethereum, it actually recently sold off from mid-January and went down to levels that it hasn't been in since September of 2022 and August and July of 2022 versus Ethereum. This was in the dead of the bear market. 
So it may potentially be a good time to put some ETH in now. So as you see from the time of that video, WAGME is up huge versus ETH. This is like a, from the high, it was like 60%. Right now I'd say it's around 40%. It doesn't show me the percentage here, but with something like this, when it goes up 50% versus Ethereum in a day, you put 10 ETH in, you're up five ETH. You can go ahead and realize that profit, take the five ETH profit out, you still have 10 ETH in, and you're able to compound. This strategy of using Ethereum as your main unit of account is what I like to do. It used to be Bitcoin, right? Any crypto OG who's been in the game from 2017, 2018 knows that Bitcoin used to be the main unit of account on every centralized exchange. There was no US dollar pairs. There was only Bitcoin pairs, but times have changed now, right? Most of these tokens you see on the market are ERC20 tokens, Ethereum, I think is going to outperform Bitcoin this upcoming market cycle. So in my mind, I want to get as much ETH as possible. And again, we can use narratives in crypto that have not fully blossomed yet, that have not fully taken off just yet. We still have time to accumulate these assets low. We still have time before they do explode. And we're able to basically grow our Ethereum balance by trading these coins, investing in these coins. So anyways, Wagme Games, huge pump up versus ETH from the time I covered it here on the channel. And still, this is a new coin. It launched in May of 2022. It's not even one full year old yet. On the weekly time frame, it has a double bottom, right? A W reversal signal, higher lows, trying to make higher highs here. This is really just one big weekly accumulation range. New coin has, has not taken off at all yet, right? I can really see this thing pumping hard. I've done my fundamental analysis on Wagme. I think it's a solid project. I like what they're building. I like the play to earn game they're building. It's a mobile tower defense game. So you need to combine the fundamental analysis with the technical analysis, and then of course have the conviction to hold on to these plays until they actually mature. That can be six, 12, 18, 24 months, maybe even longer. But the most foolproof way to go about this is to delay your gratification and you want a dollar cost average into these assets like they are right now when they're low in these weekly accumulation ranges versus Ethereum. Go ahead and if you like them and you believe in them and you have the conviction, invest into them. And then when they explode versus ETH, you go ahead and realize that profit in ETH. And then when ETH eventually has its heyday, you're gonna be able to have a lot more dollars because you took profit in ETH and not dollars originally. That's the strategy, I hope it makes sense. I hope that you did enjoy this video. So in this video, I covered a strategy to really capitalize to the fullest extent on the upcoming crypto gaming play to earn narrative. I hope that this all made sense. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.